Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, I had, uh, made a few decisions. Um, namely that we were going to be <laughs> supporting Lord Harrowmont. Um, and then I was told a few things. Um technically kind of spoilers but i don't know how they play out so um then they're really things outside of the control after the def you know the things have been started anyway um and technically canonically correct so it's not like i'm going against the grain in regards to what the story is um so what happens is apparently, while <laughs> Balin is scummy, he does open up the dwarves to trade more and they do become better for it. Um, Harrowmont sticks to the old ways a little too closely and it screws the dwarves out of a lot of things. And canonically, it is correct. Um, canonically... The dwarves are more shut away from the world if they are part of the caste system. And the castless are the ones who are really running around topside and helping as the world continues in uh, the main story. The main long story. But, uh, yeah, I picked the canonical choice, but it's not the best for the dwarves because they end up reinforcing the problems that the dwarves currently have. Oops! <laughs> I was trying to make them better, but because of my moral crusade against people who are really mean, because it's too early in the episode to swear, <laughs> and Reggie would kill me if I do it now. Uh, yeah, Balin was, uh, not chosen, and Harrowmont was, so here we are. So, uh, we're here in Dust Town, which is not even related to that right now. Kind of running around getting the missions taken care of down here. It's a little what shop. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Maybe you do. You, it just doesn't look like a store. Well, our business is kind of covert, if you know what I mean. It's illegal in Orzammar for me to engage in protected trade, but they look the other way if I share things with my friends for money. Oh. I have some spare equipment. What'll you give me? Why don't you take a look? So engaging in protected trade is not allowed, but... Trading for money. Whoa. Drake skin. That's better than what I currently got by a long shot. And then efforts boots. Duster leather. That's an entire duster set right here. That I'm looking at. Patched together from shoe leather, torn jerkins, and bits from old gloves. This is far from pretty, but it's fairly tough. When equipped with it. In a set with duster gloves and boots, the character gains a bonus to armor. Well, I mean... Considering the whole set is about... Six gold. Actually, probably more like six and a half gold. It's probably worth it. And then Senior Enchant... To robes, which would be for Morrigan. Not an upgrade in magic, but is an upgrade in willpower and defense. Hmm. And all she loses is a little cold damage. Hmm. Wait, she had... I only just realized now, she allowed 
for stronger cold damage all this time? God. <sighs> Buggery. Okay, well, now I know. Um... Antiven Crossbow. It's just outside of my reach of strength. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, of course. Okay. So the damage is decent. Crossbow has decorations and embellishments that mark it as being of Antiven make. Okay. High damage, high critical chance. Well, high ish. Uh, armor penetration is massive and a decent range. Well. With that in mind and the fact that it requires strength instead of dexterity. Which is something I can do. Mm, that makes it very tempting. So very tempting. Extremely tempting. Mm. No. Not right now. Not right now. However, I will get all of these. Because these are very useful. For what I intend to do. Please tell me you have a backpack upgrade or something, please. No, guys. I really shot myself in the foot. I really shot myself in the foot. I can sell this, though. Uh, I can't sell these. I'm going to sell these because I don't need them. Gloves of diligence. Hmm. Okay, that's good enough, I think. Okay, um, who do I equip that with, though? That's a good question. Liliana, maybe? Um, repeater gloves were good for bows, and that's basically all she runs. Huh. I guess the duster leathers I'm going to give to uh, Zevran, maybe? Yeah, that's probably for the best. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's about all I can really do with it. Because Alistair is not going to need it. Not at all. Okay, um... Time to get out of here. Alright. Shady Corbett. What do you wish of me? I didn't actually need to talk to you, sorry. What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. I mean you're right, but I'm looking for a thief who dared steal from the Shaper it. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me I mean this person in? You've walked into a uh -huh. fighting fight, Warden. And I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. I see ahead. Well. That's unfortunate. Especially if he's already passed it along. Proving receipt. A losing bet receipt crumpled in anger. These are only printed in the proving grounds. So he bet it away? Is that what happened? He used it as a bet and then he lost? Huh. Nadezda. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. Whoa, that second option. Holy crap. Oh, boy. That is an option. <laughs> it's a cruel option, but it's an option. Uh, here's five silvers. Buy yourself some food. 
Well, thank you truly, my lord. That's right good of you. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. I'm from Detroit, I'd say worse. The diamond quarter, stranger. You got a vice you're looking for old Nadezda to fill? A vice? Where's a body go to get drunk around here? Uh, how did you get injured? I'd say it was an accident Try to get some sympathy coin, but you look like you'd rather hear the truth. I was running protection for the Carta when some guardsmen caught me. Duster I was with had coin for a bribe, but I took a stand. Guardsmen broke my sodding kneecaps and had me kneel in dung until the infection set in. Never healed proper. What's a Carta? Well, now I know you're not from here. The Carta's who runs Dust Town. Jarvi has got her boys everywhere. Uh. They tell you and you jump because they're the only ones with the coin and the steel to get whatever they want. I see. Tell me about Dust Town. It's pretty much as you see it. The raw stone where the castless live, because we're not welcome elsewhere. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. What do you mean by brand? It means you don't exist. It tells everyone who sees you not to work with you, not to serve you, and not to care if you're hurt. The Deep Lords burn it into us the day we're born, so no one accidentally oversteps her place. Jesus. Where's the body go to get drunk around here? <laughs> if you have that kind of coin, Salroka, you don't want to drink what they've got here. Take yourself up to Tapsters. Long as your face isn't branded, they've got anything you want. I should get going now. I'll just stay out of your way then. All right, well. Idle dwarf. Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? Yeah, kinda. I'm Tomas. Pleased to meet you. My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm a gonna fall into the sky. That doesn't happen. <laughs> you just have to hold on real tight with your feet. Yes. <laughs> when my doll left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? Yeah, fair enough. I have to go now. Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. Oh, I'll try. No guarantees. Why are they just... I heard a baby. Right when I walked by the nugs, I heard a baby. That was weird. Very weird. Anywho, um, there is a house. There's another beggar. Ooh. You looking for some excitement, honey? You came to the right place. Is that a proposition? Because I'm in. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, although I do like them short. A suspicious it's not for door. Me, it's for my child. Okay. Have you a coin to spare, my lord? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Why doesn't your son's father help you? A question I ask every day. He was eager enough for a daughter who would bring him into the mining cast. But since the boy was born, I've not seen nose or heel of the lout. And me alone on the street, forbidden to return to my family unless I... But no, I can't bear to even think of it. What does your family want you to do? My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Whoa. What the fuck? I had to actually look at the timer to make sure I could swear. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. That is horrible. I cannot abandon my baby. Oh, you can't. The papers teach that only children of true lineage exist, not those born castless. But they never carry the child. He cries like any other infant and smiles when he's warm and full. I can't kill him because of an accident of birth, an accident I forced on him. You're absolutely right. 
Maybe I could reason with your family. Y you would do that? But why? I don't like to see a child suffer. Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapster's in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. I will do my damnedest. Because that is fucked up. Slum's house. Let's go in there and see what's up. Not a lot. Just another door in a chest. I'm kind of going to feel bad since this is a house and everything. But... What's Novice Hail Rune. Plus five physical resistance. This is an old Tevinter symbol for endurance. Okay. Next. What? Dwarven Armored Gloves. Medium Gloves. Tanned... Deep Stalker Hide has been augmented with fine dwarven metalwork to make these extremely durable gloves. When equipped in a set with basic dwarven armor and dwarven armored boots, the character gains a bonus to armor. Interesting. Oh. And I gotta double check something real quick. Isn't she wearing... She's wearing shielded. It's different than... It's different, isn't it? Technically different? I mean, she can't wear it anyway, but it's still technically different, isn't it? I mean, they are both medium armor. Maybe it's not as different as I think. But I can't be sure of that. Yes. Also, there's the fact that, I mean, I kind of just walked into a home and stole stuff out of it. It's kind of messed up in and of itself. But there's no way to know for sure. A suspicious door. This door appears to be made of solid stone. There are no visible means of opening it. On closer inspection, there is a small slot concealed in a fold of the stone, just big enough for a finger. Look through the slot. You see nothing but blackness. Do nothing. Well, let me see if Leliana can do something. Nope. Nothing. Okay. That requires a specific key to do the thing. A specific key that I don't have. Soup. Well, that is not an option then. Huh. Alright, time to go back up to the commons. That was weird. That was very weird. Brother Burkle, I talked to you. Uh, you are a I shop? Something, I hope. I want that surface wealth coming back to us, Balin's ascension willing. Yeah, about that. Your allegiance to this Balin is clear. Why? Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Some say Balin killed his father. Just as many say Harrowmont, neither are paragons, and the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. Rather pragmatic of you. Can't complain about that. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. I'm not sure whether I should feel insulted or not by that. But fine. Um, hmm. Well, there's more... <laughs> There's more duster, leather, everything. And that's basically the same as what I just picked up. Okay. Shadow of the Empire. Interesting. And it's light armor, an Orlesian design, but unusually subdued and bearing, of all unlikely things, the royal seal. Interesting. But it's not better than my current armor. But it would be good otherwise. It would be 
extremely good otherwise. It's just not something I need. Quicksilver arming cap. Does that mean it's made of quicksilver or it has quicksilver in the lining? Because... Going to take this into IRL real quick. Quicksilver is another word for mercury. Mercury is what made hatters go mad. Thus the term mad hatter. Because mercury is technically toxic. Mm. That kind of makes me not want to have that. But... This is a fantasy setting. Maybe it's just not as toxic to humans in a fantasy setting as it is in real life. Huh. It's strange that this is a light helmet, but the armor rating is just about the same as my helm of Han Leith. Without the fatigue. But then again... The Helm of Han Leith also adds plus two to all attributes and three armor. So, it's not like I'm losing out on anything by having it on. Anywho, moving on. Actually, you know what? I forgot to check your other things. I was just looking at your armor and such. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Okay. Uh, again, I'm not sure if I should feel insulted by that or not. Tome of the Mortal Vessel. If only I had the money for that. Remarkable Sapphire. Golden Symbol. Okay, that's good for Liliana. And cheap, too. Alley King's Flagon. A monument to the pot valiant in appropriately hammered gold. Lack of lid allows for a quick pour and, more importantly, refill. Never a stale brew when you facilitate swift consumption. I mean, you ain't wrong. Okay, um, well, that's probably a good idea. Silver demon head ring. An ornate silver ring with a decorative element made to look like the horned head of a demon. That might be good for Morrigan, actually. Oh, uh, if only I could buy a backpack. <laughs> Oh, man, I shot myself in the foot so hard by not getting those backpacks in the early game. Oh, I'm almost tempted just to restart and be able to do that all over again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Have I talked to you yet? I trust Vala, my nug-wrangling friend. I... I know that voice. I know that voice from a different game. I just can't remember who it is. I trust Vala, my nug wrangling friend. Is that John DiMaggio? Is that John DiMaggio? That might be. That might be. In fact, I would absolutely believe it if it was. Okay, here's another shop over here with Garen. Have you seen my lunch? It, it's a piece of lichen bread with a spread of old cheese and shredded dried meat. I, I'm, I'm only asking because you never know who's going to get hungry. Are you all right? Oh, I, I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Or maybe they're too polite to mention it. Maybe. I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. <laughs> Maybe it was a bad vein. I, mm -hmm. uh, I cut myself and the dust got straight in the blood. Since then, it's been a little hard for me to concentrate. Understandable. Forging, then I'm straight as an arrow. Best work I've ever seen. L -l -l Look around the shop. See for yourself. Aren't dwarves immune to lyrium's effects? I, of course we are. Weak surfaces like you touch the raw ore, and you'll bleed from your eyeballs in hours. Weird seeing how big you are. Mm -hmm. Even surface dwarves lose it. Us down here, though, we should be able to handle it just fine. 
only not too much and not every day, and not breathing the dust and not directing the blood. Ancestors own bad luck. Ah, so working with... Oh, that's... That's insulting. Let's not do that. Uh, let's see your wares. Right. Best in the trade, you know. I work the orm of myself. <laughs> Alrighty. The Rose's Thorn. I remember seeing that. Precision Geared Recurve. Oh, that one's even better than the one I saw down in Dust Town. Additional armor penetration plus four attack as well. Hmm. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, this crossbow is a masterpiece of modern engineering. It's balanced for easy aim while the design of the bow ensures maximum power with each shot. Which is very good. Dwarven armored gloves, dwarven heavy boots. Hmm. This would match with the other ones. With the uh, armor that I have. No, wait. I already have them. And they're better quality than what I'm currently looking at. Oh, boy. Good thing I looked. Um, dwarven helmet. Well, let me look at this. Good dwarven work forged by Smith House Tro Tolar. I was about to say Trollar. That ain't right. Um... Slightly better armor, plus two physical resistance, but it is not much better everywhere else. Um, it is better than the helmet Alistair is carrying. Just barely, but it is. Hmm. And the other two can't carry it anyway. All right. That an idea at least life giver whoa that is a very expensive ring and boy do i wish i had the money for that boy oh boy do i wish i had the money for that very useful but i don't have the money bugger okay uh diamond quarter Okay, wait. Ow, the other thing was going to, uh, approving. But I can deal with that later. Um, a doll Helmy? Have I talked to you? Come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. Yeah, I've talked to you. Okay. Questions arise regarding Lord Balin's impending marriage to a castless commoner. Favoritism to the castless suspected. You know what? That should have been a red flag. Now I think about it, that should have been a red flag. But, uh, a little too late for that now, ain't it? Lady Dasse? This has dragged on too long. It's an insult to King Endrin's memory. Yeah, you're not wrong. I hope you'll support Lord Harrowmont. Well, I mean, I technically I'm on that path. Hour, Lord Harrowmont's insinuations against Lord Balin reveal the truth. Could Harrowmont be the true cause of King Endrin's death? Shocking allegations. Okay, so these guys are basically just... Basically just spouting conspiracy theories... The entire time. That's what it sounds like to me. Uh, where is that one dude I have to talk to? Okay. Where's Balin's buddy? I was going to see if maybe I can reverse course on this, but I can't seem to find him now. Buggery. Uh, can't seem to find him, so that's going to be an issue. Can't reverse course if there's no way to reverse course. No one enters the prince's estate without an invitation. That's fair. 
Uh, balls. All right. All right. Well, maybe if I go further along. Towards here. Yes, it was the assembly. That's where it was. Vartag. I hope you're not wasting my time with more dithering. The choice I gave you was clear. If you want Balin to support you in your surface war, you'll have to help him take the throne. Hmm. Dulin wants me to champion Haramont in the Proving. If you do, there can be no further business between us. Now, do you wish my prince's support, or will you risk everything to aid the usurper? So I can reverse course. It's good that I found this out now. <laughs> so, it's better for the dwarves in the long run but is it better for everyone involved <sighs> I'm willing to take that risk if it's better for the dwarves it'll probably be better for us too I'll do whatever it takes to get Balin's support. I have the promissory notes right here. Just take them to Lady Dace and Lord Helmy and show them Haramont is not as honest as he claims. Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much, but Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapsters in the Commons. Mm -hmm. And just to be clear, all deals are off if you fight that proving for Haramont. That's perfectly fair. All deals off at that point. So, I've made things more interesting by having Haramont's fighters rejoin the fight. But other than that, not much else. Not much else will be different. Lord Balin is the voice of change and defense. So, if anything, I've basically made it more difficult to fight for me. Maybe. I don't know. What do you want? Oh, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. Yes, yes I am. Yes, I am Tomas. It's fascinating the surface has an entire order dedicated to fighting Darkspawn. Down here, that's just what fighting means. But I'm sure it's more difficult on the surface. It must be much harder to find them. A little. I hear you'll be voting on the next king. Now, is that an attempt to cozen me into revealing my choice, or are you simply making small talk? Park so and hard less to tell with you surface types. You're all so charmingly direct and artless. Excuse me, I'm a noble. I am nowhere close to direct and artless. How dare you? <laughs> Here's direct and artless. Who are you voting for? Who wants to know? Certainly can't be you. What interest would a Grey Warden have in who rules Orzammar? Well, Haramont is trying to cheat you. An interesting accusation. But to cheat me, wouldn't Haramont and I need to be in business? He promised the same land to both you and Lord Helmy. That's ridiculous. Haramont would never make so obvious a mistake. What evidence do you have? You might want to look at these papers. I have the promissory, promissory, promissory. That was about to be what I said. That ain't correct. I have the promissory notes right here. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough, but there's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. Where is he? I'll bring these to him. He is leading a deep roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient of tide. Of course he is. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in your debt. How would I know where to find your father? He was searching an old Idukan site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. Hmm. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Does that mean you'll go? Yeah, I'll leave right now. So Balin's victory means enough for you to risk your life. How interesting. Yes, how interesting indeed. 
So, Lord Helmy, who is down... Valen is a bad, bad man! Yes, very bad! <laughs> wow, they're running out of material. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it is what it is. Okay, so I'm back here. This is Figor's Imports. Have I shopped with them yet? Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. Yes, I did, actually. Did you have something more pleasant you wish to discuss? Uh, yeah, let's... Let's, uh... What do you know about this Jarvia? I... I've never met her, of course. They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's, uh, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. I think I remember talking about that. Okay. What do you have for sale? I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford. I assure you. I'm sure you are. I just want to double check in case I have forgotten what you were selling. You do have a lot of stuff, though. Do you have a backpack? Damn it. No, you don't. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Doug, damn it. Damn it. Doug, damn it. Damn, owner of the Dimsdale, damn it. Damn. Fuck. Okay. All right. Ooh, same post. I'm pretty sure I read that, though. Yeah. Okay. So, tapsters. That's the armors. Oh, I've never talked to you. Welcome to Jan R. Family Armors. Oh, hello. I must say, you look like our type of people. Looking Do I? Looking for a new set of mail. At Jan R's, we have everything from leather to platinum. To platinum, you say? To platinum, you say? No, no, stray. You can't let your baser greed. Platinum, though. No, stop it. Stop it. But platinum. No! <laughs> okay. Do you have a daughter named Dagna? I... Has she been bothering you? It's a whiff of surface stink, and she's like a cave tick. Won't let go. She wants to become a mage. Ah, oh, that girl. I've been telling her for years to give up those foolish notions. Magic's a human trick. If Dagna wants enchantment, I can apprentice her to a lyrium crafter. I'm sorry she bothered you. That is surprising that that grammatical mistake is still there. She's very smart. Shouldn't you let her do what she loves? She's a smith. The ancestors granted her to us to carry out that role. Not pretend to be what no dwarf can. Perhaps I could take your mind off the insult by showing you around the store. Well, I'd like to help her study with the mages. Do you even know what that means? If Dagna goes to the surface, she forfeits her caste. She'll never be able to marry or, or work in Orzammar again. Dwarves don't do magic. Dagna knows that. It's just a childhood fantasy that dies hard. Please, if you see her. Send her back and let me talk some sense into her. Okay. Please, don't encourage Dagna further. Tell her you were wrong and that her place is with her family. Fair enough. Let's see what you've got, then. Of course. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. That's fair. Some decent weapons here. Whoa. Dwarven heavy gloves that are way too expensive for me to buy and also way too heavy for me to buy. Wowzers. Uh... Massive armored boots. So basically a full set of everything here. Yeah, it's basically all 
All usable there. Oh, no backpack still. God damn it. Uh, let me sell all the junk if I have any junk. I don't have junk. Okay, fine. <laughs> damn it. All right. Okay. So what? Wall carving. Life in Orzammar. Okay. I was half a second thinking that that was a dead body just laying on a table. Nope, it's just the armor. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. In that case, um, well, there's Dagna. You're back, but it takes two weeks and four days minimum to make the journey to the Circle Tower. Why do I get the feeling charting routes to the Circle Tower is one of her favorite hobbies? I'm guessing Hello. you haven't left yet. I'm not leaving Orzammar until this election result is resolved. Your father doesn't want you going to the circle. You talk to him? Of course he won't let me go. He wants to sell me off for the highest dowry. I don't care if I lose my cast. I'll stay on the surface forever. Why are you so interested in magic anyway? Here in Orzammar, we're surrounded by stone and tradition and more stone. Nothing ever changes. But to break every natural law by thinking about it, to dream and walk in a realm where everything you think comes true, I can't imagine anything more wonderful. Well, I'm not leaving until this election is resolved, either way. Well, I've waited 19 years. Another month won't kill me. Okay, well, alrighty then. There's the Tapster's Tavern, alright. So we got two people we got to talk to here. One of them's Ordell. What are you looking at, stranger? Well, I uh, met your daughter. I have no daughter. Could be you met a castless whore claiming she was once mine. Wow. Holy fuck, dude. If you don't take Zerlinda back, she'll die. What? You think she'd die just to keep that thing? She knows what she has to do to come home. I never wanted her gone. Just the little cur. Can't she see she'd have a better life if she got rid of it? He's a baby, not a cur, and she loves him. Look, just tell her... We never meant to hurt her. It just seemed best that... Oh, just tell her to come home. Her mother and I are waiting for her. Well... That worked out beautifully. And Lord Helmy. Oh, about to sneeze. Give me a second. Wow! Holy shit, I dropped like a million frames. What the fuck? Well, we're back. Um, seems the reason why I dropped all of those, at least visual frames, luckily it still was recording the audio, um, was due to the fact that one of the background processes of Windows decided that it wanted to be the forefront process and took up literally all the resources of my computer and decided to be a pain in the ass that way. So annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, it took about half an hour to clear, but it finally cleared. So, yeah, there's that taken care of, and I do apologize for losing my walk from over to Lord Helmy, even though it's not really necessary for really much of anything. Uh, just kind of loses the uh, walk cycle from there to here. It's not really much of a loss, but I do apologize either way. So... That explains that, and here we are, talking to Lord Helmy again. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? Well, there's a bit of that. Uh, do you know anything about this carta? The Assembly passed laws prohibiting the castless from holding any job a legitimate citizen can do. Of course, they turned to crime. What else can they do? Well, I also have news. Haramont is double-dealing you and Lady Dasse. Oh, well, I'd ask for proof, or why you care, but frankly, 
I'm so tired of it, I'm not even surprised anymore. Oh, really? I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Mm -hmm. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And we'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. Uh, I'm sorry. Why vote for Harrowmont if you didn't even want the land? I actually thought he was the better candidate. You must think I'm pretty sorry naive, huh? They're all the same. Well-dressed, blood-sucking cave ticks. Yeah. I'll have to inform Mother that Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Uh, oh well. But, there's that taken care of. I've already talked to you, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Now we go back into Dust Town. For multiple other reasons. And talk to the daughter. Yeah, there we go. Zerlinda. You're back. I thought you weren't coming. What did he say? Your father wants you both to come home. Both of us? I don't believe he said that. I've never heard him refer to my son as anything but trash. He called him it. But maybe... Maybe Mother convinced him. Or you did. Mm -hmm. Oh, my friend. I cannot thank you enough. If this were a story, my son would grow to manhood and pledge himself as a knight in your service. When he grows up, I will send him to you. I promise. I mean, that's not going to be that necessary, but I do appreciate the thought. All right. Now that that's all done, um, I'm thinking the only other stuff I have to do, more or less, is deal with this suspicious door. Unless there is more over here that I don't know of. Nope, nothing. Alright, so um, the suspicious door is the thing I need. Maybe... Now, Des doesn't know Can something about that. of the architectural beauty of Dust Town? You need old Nadezda to play tour guide? A little? Uh, actually, I was just leaving. I'll just stay out of your way, then. Fair enough. Guess she doesn't have anything about that door for me. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Is, is this door completely... This door is completely blocked off from people going in. How... Okay. All right. Interesting. Okay. Well, we've done that. And uh, we've changed from Harrowmont to uh, Balin. Huh. And Dagna is... Still needing someone to be talking to her. I'm also supposed to go this way, aren't I? To go to the front lines of the deep roads and find Lady Dase's uh, father. That's what I was supposed to do. And I also had a pass. That's right. That's right. So I will head this way, but that will be done in the next episode. Yeah, I gotta end this one. Mainly because I also have to send all of this to Reggie so he can edit it all together to make it work. Because I had to stop the recording while the computer was freaking out. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only stray cat playing games and trying to do my damnedest to help the dwarves and i figured out that the choice i was making is not the best choice for the dwarves so i'm hoping that the new choice i'm making to go with balin even though he is a scumbag is a better choice for the dwarves and for us overall because i know that harrowmont is bad for the dwarves but that's as far as i know 
So, um, yeah, here's hoping that I'm making the better choice. Uh, I'll also probably have to head back to camp and drop off the crap I have in my pockets. That'll probably be off camera and then I'll get back here. But either way, that's going to be what I do for you.